Endlich! The Witcher committed no crime. You'll find neither despair nor guilt here. Only shock and relief. You've been tricked. You must go. Welcome to another Witcher Law video, guys. So I was considering what video to make today, and then I saw this suggestion from these users, and I thought that this was actually a really, really good idea, as this creature in the Witch universe has always been quite creepy, quite a cool creature, and I really enjoyed the quest surrounding this creature in The Witcher 3. So anyway, I've decided to make today's video on Himes. So to best answer the question I've posed to you all in the title of today's video, I think it's best to start this video with some basic information on this creature. Anyway, a Heim is a monster in the Witch universe that falls under the category of Spectre. And Spectres are effectively all the spectral creatures in the Witch universe. For example, Wraiths are Spectres as well. Spectres are also generally known to haunt cemeteries or crypts. But in the case of a Heim, they are known to tether themselves to people. Or I guess you could say, to haunt people. Unlike most spectres in the Witch universe, Himes don't actually attack their targets outright, but instead feed on their targets' guilt. They then pretty much amplify this guilt and use it to torment them, and either cause their target to commit suicide or go completely insane. In the case of Jarl Ulrich, who you may remember from The Witcher 3, a Heim played on this Jarl's guilt about letting his brother die. Because as you know, Udelric didn't outrightly kill his brother, but he did kind of let him die. And obviously he felt very guilty about this. So the Heim played on this guilt that Udelric felt, and effectively led him to believe that it was a god speaking to him. And by playing on his guilt and the fact that he believed that the voice talking to him was a god and not a Heim, the Heim was able to make Udelric have terrible fits, and also make him poke out his own eye. He also made the Jarl experience hideous visions that the Heim made, and of course these visions also played on the guilt that Udelric felt. I mean, in The Witcher 3, Udelric even states that only his suffering can appease the gods. Another interesting fact is that on some occasions, if you look at Udelric's shadow, you can instead see the shadowy figure of a Heim. This is obviously a dead giveaway that an individual is being haunted by one of these creatures. An interesting fact is that Himes are also described by Geralt as a post-conjunction creature that is not only very rare, but also very dangerous. Himes are also said to only latch on to those who committed vile deeds or at least believe they did or just people who have incredible guilt. I think it's actually really interesting that these creatures are post-conjunction, because it means that they are not naturally from the world of the Enshe, and if you don't know what I mean by that, basically the world in which all these games take place. So I personally am really curious as to what the world of the Himes looked like. So as for a Himes appearance, it effectively is a shadow-like humanoid creature. You can see from the picture on screen that it has long claws, and its head appears to be horned, or at least in a horned-like structure. It also is quite tall, and honestly to me, it looks like the living embodiment of a nightmare, which is definitely what I imagine they were going for. You only actually meet one of these creatures in The Witcher games, and this is in the quest Possession in The Witcher 3. The fact that we don't meet any other Himes in any of the other Witcher games, or in any other place in The Witcher 3, shows us just how rare these creatures are. I mean, not only do they hide pretty well, I'd say, but there also appears to be pretty much no other occurrences of this creature in The Witcher 3. So they're clearly very rare. So that's the end of the basic information, guys. Now I'm going to move on to how to get rid of a Heim. There are currently only two ways to not only destroy a Heim, but to also separate it from its victim without killing the victim. The first way is similar to how you would deal with a Strigger. You must spend a night in the Heim's lair with the Heim's victim. This should draw the Heim out, at which point you can fight it and then kill it. The other way is to commit a terrible act in front of the Heim, this will make the Heim leave its victim in an attempt to latch onto you as its new victim. The only way to make sure the Heim won't attach itself to you permanently is if this terrible act is a trick. But tricking a Heim is very difficult because for the Heim 
to come out, the person who is attempting to trick the Heim must believe that they committed the act. You can actually go the route of tricking the Heim in The Witcher 3, and they do this by effectively, Ceres develops a plan, and then Geralt doesn't know about the plan, but he has to do everything Ceres says. And what the plan was, was that Ceres had planned to give Geralt Udelric's baby to put in a burning hot oven, and then someone would then take the baby out of a back compartment of the oven. But Geralt didn't know any of this, so for Geralt it felt as if he had actually just put a baby in an oven and then killed it. This then lured the Heim out, Geralt then saw the baby was okay, and then the Heim was trapped because Geralt no longer felt any guilt and it couldn't go back into Udelric. So then they could get rid of it. Next, for combat tactics, Fighting these creatures is not easy, but as with all monsters, a silver weapon is the most effective. And, because this creature is a spectre, spectre oil would also help to finish off this creature. Compared to the other spectres, Himes are actually fairly slow, but they do have shadow-like claws that can reach from a great distance. Also, if they come in contact with someone, they will begin to passively sap their life. And, after several strikes, Himes can actually teleport from where their current location is, so be careful when approaching them. Igni and Iriden are two of the best signs to use against a Heim. And of course, a bit of Quen is always useful against pretty much everything in The Witcher. <laughs> Igni can be used to set the Heim on fire, which makes it significantly more visible in the area you are fighting it in, as Himes mostly stick to shadowy areas, so they're difficult to see. Iriden can also slow down Himes and prevent them from using their health regeneration ability too much, so obviously using that sign is also very useful. Anyway guys, to end today's video, I'm going to read to you the journal entry on Himes. Some men have got a good reason to fear their own shadows. Svargmit, Arnskellig Druid. Monsters most commonly claim innocence as their victims. Tardy merchants, reckless children, and travellers who wander into dark woodlands out of a misplaced curiosity. None of the above need to fear Himes. However, these wraiths only latch onto particularly despicable individuals, who have committed some unspeakable crime. To all others, they remain completely invisible. When they do show themselves to the one they torment, they appear as a tall, shadow-clad, humanoid silhouette with long, sharp claws. Yet Himes do not sink these claws into their victims. Instead, they sap their strength directly through inflicting suffering. Speaking in a voice only the victim hears, they drive them to commit acts of violence, aggression, and self-harm. A Heim will seize on a guilty person's worst fears and weave out of them hideous visions, driving the poor soul into madness. Those tormented by a Heim are incapable of restful sleep for they are tormented by ever more frequent, incredibly realistic nightmares. At times, the victim will become extremely on edge, yelling pleas or threats at invisible phantoms, or confessing his guilt out loud in the hopes this will end his torment. This act does not, however, bring any relief, for the Heim will not leave until it has addled its victim's wit completely or driven him to suicide. If you read the book, Behind the Great Veil, you do actually get another journal entry on these creatures, and I'll read this journal entry to you all now. Of the many demons which reside in the outer spheres, Himes are among the most dangerous. Other demons usually must take on concrete living form, be it of man or beast. Himes, on the other hand, appear in our world in their immaterial form, which is invisible to all save their chosen victim. Himes feed on fear, regret, a sense of guilt, in a word, on negative emotions, and since they are eternally hungry, they provoke these emotions in the human they torment. These demons cannot be exercised. A man a Heim takes as a victim is lost, and will inevitably succumb to madness and then death. That journal entry is actually really interesting if you think about it. It's a completely different perspective on Himes. Obviously, as Geralt shows us in The Witcher 3, you can actually get rid of a Heim, so this journal entry is from quite a uh, uneducated point of view, I suppose, as they clearly haven't had any experience with a victim being saved from a Heim. But what this journal entry does reveal to us is that Himes might potentially be demons, such as, say, the demons like the cat and the dog or the caretaker. But obviously, a Heim being a much more powerful form of demon and an entire species of demon, because there appears to be at least multiple occurrences of different Himes. Anyway guys, that's the end of today's video. I hope you've all enjoyed. This has been quite a fun video to make. I really do like Himes. I think they're really cool, quite mysterious, quite interesting, and I think that the quest with it in The Witcher 3 is definitely one of the creepier ones. As always guys, if you want me to continue making Witcher lore videos, if you enjoy when I make them and you enjoyed watching the video, I'd really appreciate you liking it as it does take a long time to do and it's really helpful. So thank you to every single one of you that does that. It's very kind of you. 
And also, if this is the first video you're finding on my channel, be sure to subscribe. I do Witcher lore videos every few days, I do Witcher Netflix news if anything really interesting comes out or something that I feel like I need to present to you guys. I also do Witcher gameplay, I do Oblivion gameplay on occasion, and I also do Elder Scrolls lore videos when I have time. I also plan to branch out into other lore videos at some point soon. So if you don't want to miss any of that, be sure to subscribe to this channel as then you'll get the videos in your subscription box whenever they come out. Also, of course, be sure to follow me on Twitch. I have a schedule on there. I haven't been able to keep to it this week as I've been very, very busy, but the schedule should go back to normal next week. So if you want to make sure you don't miss any of my live streams where I play games like God of War, Dark Souls, and many other games, be sure to go and follow me on Twitch as then you'll get a notification for when I do go live. Also, be sure to follow me on Twitter. I do updates on there whenever anything interesting is happening. Say if there's any Witcher Netflix news, I'll probably retweet anything to do with that. So if you want to keep up to date with that, I'd recommend following me on Twitter. I also, of course, put all the videos on Twitter. So if YouTube isn't sending them to your subscription box, you can check on Twitter and you can see when I've posted videos. And also, of course, I post whenever anything is happening with me. So if you want to make sure you don't miss any of that, be sure to go and follow me on Twitter. And finally, as always, guys, a big thank you to the Patreon pledges. You guys are honestly amazing. It's very, very kind what you do. I want to say thank you to every single one of you that donates to me on Patreon. It's honestly amazing and it's so, so kind. I want to say thank you to every single one of these names you're all really awesome and it's very kind what you do but anyway guys i hope you've all enjoyed today's video and i'll see you in the next one have an awesome rest of the week